Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Obviously, earlier on this week, yesterday, actually, Warzone 2 dropped, Modern Warfare 2 Season 1 dropped, DMZ dropped, and like pretty much every single major launch in gaming right now, it has its fair share of issues. However, Infinity Ward and Raven have actually already revealed a ton of different updates, changes, and fixes that they are working on for Warzone 2 and Season 1 of MW2 as well. So we are starting first here on the Modern Warfare 2 Trello board. If you guys didn't know what the Trello boards are, these are basically the uh, different like online threads that Raven and Infinity Ward have for MW2, Warzone 2, and DMZ. And this is where they preview the different playlist updates, any XP events, different stuff like that for future updates, but also a lot of the changes that they're working on now these are not every single change that they plan on making these are the ones that they choose to disclose to us but it's a good amount of what you can expect for future updates right so we'll start first here on the mw2 trello board and then go over to the warzone 2 trello board which actually has a lot of really really solid updates and changes in the works but here we got a couple of different places we want to look at between global multiplayer and gunsmith issues so first up they are investigating an issue affecting the social menu uh you'll notice that after mw2 season one there's a lot of problems going into to your friends list and actually joining up with a party and getting in with your friends now my way to work around this is that i created an in-game channel with all the people that i play with and i invite them to that channel and then you can go through you don't actually have to go into the social tab to get there so that's nice and easy that's worked for me but if you're just trying to go into the social tab you'll know that your game's gonna you know glitch out and mess up a lot they are aware of that they are working on that by the way uh this video i would love to have this as like a hub of other unknown issues that they don't bring up here if you guys are having problems in game with very Various things you never know who from call of duty who from infinity war to raven might be watching this video so feel free to drop a comment down below if you guys have other you know in-game problems that you're running into uh so that we hopefully can help improve the game and you know get good updates around uh with that Another thing they're looking into is the battle pass tokens. They're investigating an issue where some players are unable to use their tokens and they encounter a max tokens error. I've also seen a lot of comments about the free tiers in the battle pass. Basically, the free tier just does not require you to buy the battle pass to unlock that content. Whereas if it's not a free tier, you can't use your tokens on that uh, sector, right? It's still going to require a token on a free tier, but there, there is that as well. So just keep that in mind uh, when you are going throughout your battle pass. They're also investigating an issue where players cannot equip the default operator execution. So the execution whole like many right now seems to be kind of buggy and inconsistent. They're aware of that as well. Also, laser attachments in the third person POV are currently disabled. So if you are playing a third person mode, those lasers are not going to be working as intended. Just a heads up there as well. Now, a few of these issues have actually already, uh, you know, been fixed and the fix is coming in a future update with this little header here. So so obviously ticket created fix coming in future update that includes a bug affecting the helicopter height in ground war where you can actually fly out of the map sometimes to get into a very glitchy very buggy version of all mazra uh an issue with the ddos field upgrade being uh unavailable at certain times then also an issue on santasini with the apc a few other new updates though that were added here the cdl mosh pit was supposed to go live yesterday treyarch did end up tweeting out though yes treyarch they are in charge of all the cdl aspects of mw2 here uh they talked about how when they were play testing they found a pretty big bug with the mode so they had to delay it so it's not live now we don't know when that's going to be live it'll probably happen you know in a few days time if i were to guess also pings in multiplayer are still disabled however live pinging is going to work in battle royale for warzone 2 and then also dmz as well just in multiplayer there's still that bug where if you live ping someone it'll keep that live ping on them the entire game and it's just a free wall hack uh for your entire team so that's why you can't ping in multiplayer right now they also added the gunsmith tab here which is really nice so they already fixed an issue with some weapon camo progression although with mw2 season one it seems to have bugged out the camo progression your stuff is still tracking but on the menu it might show that you have zero out of 51 platinum or zero out of 51 polyatomic that's just a visual bug your camos do still track i was working on mine yesterday for some of the dlc weapons so that's still all fine and dandy and that's what they're referencing here with the issue impacting camo progression this is like the same issue listed twice but one was from before and one is now new and then this other stuff here single player spec ops not as big of a deal let's now jump over to the Warzone Trello board where we have more details more issues uh, explained as well and also as we're going through all this by the way if you guys are new to the channel around 57% of viewers watching are not already subscribed as of today we are less than 15,000 subs away from 900,000 it would be insane if we could hit this by the end of the month you guys have been crushing it with the support so if you want to guarantee you're always up to date with news with all the updates with the best class setups and loadouts for uh, multiplayer and Warzone and tips to help you improve the game 
this is your one-stop shop feel free to hit that subscribe button also if you guys enjoy this video or if you want to share it around every time you drop that like it shares the video around more people can become aware of these issues and also we can help again get this video out to the people who need to see it to fix things accordingly with the comments that you guys leave below but be sure to drop a like on the video let's try and aim for 3,000 likes on this one let's jump over to the warzone board though so this one not as many things listed as of right now but we do have like things for instance the playlist schedule uh which they'll preview as needed this one's currently live until the 24th then presumably then we'll get a new playlist update schedule for events will include xp events for double xp double tokens i guess for the battle pass stuff like that in the future and as this gets updated we'll be covering it in future videos so obviously stay tuned for that and if i remember i forget this a lot but if i remember i'll try and leave a link to both of these trello boards in the description of the video so you guys can bookmark them as well but getting into the issues here we've got some battle royale issues and we got some game wide issues they also do have tabs for dmz as well currently they don't have anything listed but raven apparently is in charge of some of the DMZ issues as well. But for game-wide issues, they also listed the max tokens error here because this affects multiplayer and Warzone. Same conversation as before. Uh, the social menu also listed here as well. So you'll see some repeats if they affect the entire game. And it's nice that both of these Trello boards are, you know, aware of things that are game-wide, hence why it's in this, rather than just it being for Warzone 2 or for, uh, you know, MW2 multiplayer. The execution, same thing. And then also the play again button after a match has been disabled. Currently, you'll have to back out into the main menu and requeue because apparently there was some kind of bug going on there with that that caused some issues there i'll zoom in a little bit as well to make that text a bit bigger for you guys but yeah just a heads up if you're trying to continuously play with your same squad the play again button might not be working for you it's not a problem with your game it's a widespread thing so that'll hopefully again get fixed here soon uh for battle royale an inconsistent after action report we're investigating an issue that is preventing the after action report from consistently appearing for players your xp all your progress everything you do in a game for your challenges for your camp for all your levels and everything like that that is still tracking but the after action reports values are not accurate and those are not correct so just be aware of that you're still gaining everything you need to be gaining in game uh, a missing squad widget we're aware of an issue causing squad members to not appear on the squad widget in the bottom left of the in-game interface so it might look like one of your squad mates disconnected or did not load into the game but they might be in the voice comms saying whoa whoa whoa, guys i'm here that's also a known issue and they're aware of that and then this last one listed here is a very very important one and one that i ran into quite a bit yesterday when playing warzone 2 there is a current bug in game that appears to happen sometimes before the gulag primarily after the gulag where if you get taken out you don't go down you skip the down phase some players are eliminated in situations where they should have been downed obviously in solos you don't always get to go down there's no uh you know downed state if you will but in duos trios quads when you get taken down when you get shot at and get knocked you go into that knock state you are downed you need the self revive you need your teammates to revive you uh obviously pretty basic but in warzone 2 right now there's an issue where you can get shot at in squads and instead of going down you just instantly die and then that's game over for you gg you cost four thousand dollars or maybe that's the end of your entire squad's life you didn't get to use that self revive you didn't get a chance at potentially getting up there so that's a pretty big one as well and one that is very very common right now from my gameplay experience now again just a reminder that what we see here on each trello board is not every single issue they are working on there are plenty of other bugs plenty of other issues and updates that are needed for mw2 warzone 2 and dmz i had issues in dmz yesterday when i was trying to take out the chemist where all the bots spawned underneath the world and i couldn't shoot any of them they could shoot me through the planet but i could not shoot them back like this is far from every issue in the game but these are the big ones that they've acknowledged and addressed so far so as we continue to see updates on these a couple times a week we'll probably go over these in potential update videos or as we see these updates pushed live with new patch notes we're obviously going to be covering those in the future as well so stay tuned for all of that if you guys are new to the channel or again like i said earlier if you have not already subscribed every day i got you covered with the latest going on with news and updates and then also the best class setups loadouts tips all things going on between mw2 warzone 2 and dmz you're gonna find it right here we'd love to have you join us on the road to 900k and if you guys enjoyed this video let me know by dropping a like on it as well but that is gonna wrap things up for this one once again thank you so much for tuning in and until next time take it easy have an awesome rest of your day and i will catch you guys later peace out